Hello Penny Pinchers, my name is Dehan and welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. In today's video we are going to be going over four penny stocks to watch going into next week and the following weeks after that. So let's dive on into them. The first penny stock we're going to be watching is going to be Sentinel Resource Development. So this one saw its shares push up by around 16% by the end of the day on January 7th. While no news came out that was specific to, to CDEV, the industry it works in trended higher for the majority of the day. Sentinel Resource Development is an independent oil and natural gas company. We've actually talked about this one in the previous videos. It states that its assets are in the Delaware Basin, which includes West Texas and parts of New Mexico. As an energy company, CDEV has a lot that it could benefit from in the coming months. With the vaccine currently in distribution, it will definitely take some time before things return to normal, but leading up to the end of the pandemic could see an increased demand of energy. We actually talked about this particular stock two days ago, and it's been doing great the past two days. So if you guys saw that video two days ago on Wednesday, you guys actually did some great gains on this one already, as we talked about the four top uh, energy stocks in that video. Now, as people begin to travel by car and plane, once again, investors believe that demand for energy will rise steeply. Now, this could take place across a long period of time, but there's no doubt that oil and gas will be needed. As of January 2021, the energy industry is still down from its pre-Rona highs. That comes the potential to find companies like CDEV that could have bullish move momentum left in the past six months. Shares of CDEV stocks are up about 134% as the pandemic begins to lessen. The hopes are that the energy companies will benefit and and will Centennial be on that list. So if we take a look at Centennial, like we talked about it the other day, this stock was trading at around 28 cents. Now it's at $1.70. So, you know, if we really think about it, it 4x, 5x in the long term in the past year. Now, analysts here, short term, mid term, long term, this stock is very bullish. Like we said today, this stock was trading, you know, higher by about 16%, trading at $1.99. Now, if we look right here, actually, so we called this stock actually on the 5th, and that's when the stock was trading around $1.70. So this stock, you know, has went up over 20% almost since we called it out on our uh, previous video on Wednesday. So if you guys get on on that one, that's a good thing. But if we look here, volume is really good with this one. Around 10 million shares traded every single day. We've seen this pop in the past month ever since Biden and the election, I guess you could say. The stock went up about 200% since then. And volume is picking up every day. 10 million shares here. If we take a look here in the previous day, over 13 million shares again. So this one has a lot of potential going through the rest of the year and definitely going into the rest of January. So keep a very close eye on this one. Now, guys, as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you made it this far into the video, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Let's aim for 150 likes on this video. Let's do it, guys. Come on. Also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time I make a new video. I make videos on penny stocks every single day. I make videos on dividend stocks, blue chip stocks, and just any type of stock investing in general. We just broke 11,000 subscribers. Let's aim for even higher, guys. Thank you for all you guys do for me. The second penny stock on our list is going to be Foresight Autonomous Holdings. So this company operates as a tech business specializing in the development and design of sensor systems for automobiles. This includes the LiDAR sensors as well as the advanced algorithms for detecting accidents before they actually happen. So the LiDAR, you guys already know, is a huge thing. NEO, we're expecting some huge news on Saturday and a lot of people are you know, predicting there's going to be some LiDAR information with it. Now, this type of technology is increasingly becoming commonplace in the new automobiles. Uh, with driver safety in mind, FRSX has become a big name in the world of both inline, offsite, and and beyond the line of sight programs. One of the aspects of the offer FRSX, a lot of potential is its cost effectiveness. If an auto manufacturer was to produce similar technology, it would take months of R&D and a lot of capital. Obviously, this is not cost effective. Foresight Automobile Holdings has worked to make its products extremely cost effective and beneficial in areas where it is needed. The company states that its products are aimed at the Advanced Driver Assistance System or ADAS market. With autonomous driving becoming very popular with companies like Tesla, products like Foresight are also seeing heightened attention. So on December 28th, Foresight announced a 26 million registered direct offering. With this, the company should be able to maximize its balance sheet and fund general corporate expenses. As an exciting tech company, Foresight continues to attract new investors to its business model. Now with this one, this one's been on the boom. So this stock was trading around 50 cents at the beginning of 2020. Now it's at over $4.50. So that is a huge, huge, huge gain right there, 800% or so. Now volume has been picking up lately. As you can see here, look at this. 
The stock about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, was trading at $1.76. It's went up over 100% than then. The volume is picking up 43 million shares right there, 136 million shares. And then it sold off a little bit with the volume being a little bit lower. But the stock hit highs here about $6.45. And then we made a pullback. Now, what we're going to be looking forward to right here is for the stock to consolidate around this $4 area, build up a new support level around that $4 area, and then continue to trend on up as we go through 2021. So this one is a very, very big one, especially with all these EVs coming out. And NEO has some huge news on Saturday coming out with us with NEO Day. Tesla is doing amazing things. I mean, Tesla is at over $800 a share. NEO is at about $54 a share. These automobile companies are just booming right now. And that is the future. And that's what we're going to you know, be keeping a very big eye out on in 2021 as these stocks are going to continue to boom as they did in 2020 as well. This is just the beginning of things to come in the future. Third penny stock on our list is going to be Orbital Energy Group. So Orbital Energy Group on Thursday, January 7th, shares of OEG stock shot up by about 33% to end the day. That is a huge gain. Since July, shares of OEG stock are up about you know a 365% gain. It's important to keep in mind that a large portion for the energy industry has grown in that time period. This is due to the various milestones we've reached with the combating uh, Rona. Additionally, investors should take note that OEG stock is quite volatile. With this in mind, let's take a look at why investors are talking about Orbital Energy. Instead of operating as an energy company directly, Orbital Energy owns several subsidiaries that operate throughout the industry. This includes Orbital Gas Systems, Orbital Power Services, and Orbital Solar Systems, amongst others. These companies work by providing solutions to the various needs of the energy industry. This could be anything from gas sampling to construction and emergency response solutions. As you can see, Orbital Energy is quite broad in its business model, which is big because they're you know diversified in what they do. That means they have you know many opportunities in their market, which is a great thing. On December 31st, the company announced that it had entered into an agreement with the institutional investor to raise around 10 million. This deal, with uh, which involves OEG selling around 5.55 million shares of common stock, should help to increase its balance sheet. Additionally, the money will go to further research and development as well as the general corporate purposes. Investors should keep an eye out on OEG's next quarter report to see where this fundraising fits in. All things considered, OEG could be one of the penny stocks to watch as energy remains in focus in the market. Once again, like we talked about in the first pick on this video and also the picks two days ago that we had on our video, these energy penny stocks are booming. These energy penny stocks have so much potential, especially like we said, Biden is the president now and the clean energy, renewable energy stuff is getting, you know, really big right now. That's the future. And, you know, this stock has been rising here, as you can see, uh, you know, for the past few days, it's been doing very, very great. I mean, it's already went up about 70 or 100 percent almost just in the past week or two. Um, the chart actually here that I'm using right now is not working. I can only see the five day chart. So this is what we're seeing for the past five days, but volume is doing great. I mean, it's less than a million shares traded every single day. So volume is still a little bit low. So just imagine what it could happen with volume picking up, but this stock is on a trend on up and we're going to be watching for it to break through that $3 resistance. Now, analysts have this one on short term, midterm and long term, very, very bullish. So definitely one to be looking at in 2021 and definitely throughout January. Last but not least, the fourth penny stock on our list is going to be Novin Inc. So this is going to be different than all the other penny stocks on this list as it is at a biotech company. So guys, we have some energy companies, we have some tech companies, we have some biotech companies in here. This is going to be for all types of penny stock traders. You guys have everything in this video. So Novin Inc. is currently working on developing new substances for the fight against Rona. The company states that it is a clinical development staged biotech company utilizing its advanced platform known as a uh, so this nitric oxide based tech platform allows for the treatment of a wide variety of illnesses. This includes those found in a general health, uh, dermatology, gastrology, and infectious diseases. Currently, the company states that it leads a product is known as the SB206. This is a antiviral substance used in the treatment. Treating molluscum contagious uh, weeks ago, the company announced that it's uh, engaged the company Catalent uh, to help with the development of Burzdemir sodium for Rona. 
Uh, for some context, Catalan works as a provider of the drug delivery technology, including those used in biologics and gene therapies. And you guys know gene therapies is another huge thing. If you guys are followers of uh, Kathy Wood, you know, the one that owns the ETFs under ARC, uh, gene therapies and gene, you know, stocks are going to be booming as well. So Paul Brown Stafford, the CEO of Nova, stated that we are pleased to be working with Catalan and the benefits from its uh, expertise in drug development and manufacturing, which is of particular interest to us in the Rona program. We look forward to advancing into preclinical IND, enabling studies and taking another step forward uh, towards unlocking the potential of our propriety natric oxide based medicines. So guys, if we take a look at this chart right here, this stock was trading around 37 cents, you know, pre Rona. So it's went up about 200% since then. But we can see that it had a few pops here, especially here with some volume, you know, I had traded over 300 million shares, the stock went from about 50 cents, all the way to high here about uh, $1.34. But then we made a pullback all the way down to the previous support, which was at that 35 cents area, bounced off of the support and continued to trend on up. And we can see here in the past month or so, the stock has went up from about 47 cents all the way here to highs of about $1.18. So over 100% gain, almost 200% gain on this. But volume is still very, very low. But once we, once again, we see here another pop, 150 million shares traded and the stock, you know, continue to boom. So volume is a key player with this penny stock as you know it is under a dollar right now so volume is key it takes a you know a lot of volume to pick through it and push it through but it's not that hard to push through because the, it's such a cheap stock that volume can pick up very very quickly and we're definitely going to be looking at this one especially with gene therapy and different things that are coming out in 2021 so definitely keep this one on your radar guys for the rest of the month and just going into 2021 so guys i really hope you guys enjoy these four penny stocks that we talked about here and like we said we always have some diversification in our videos as we had different things we had energy stocks, we had biotech, we had regular tech companies, uh, you know, all types of penny stocks in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button like we said. Let's get 150 likes on this video. Leave a comment below. What penny stocks are you looking at? What penny stocks have you been trading recently? Subscribe to the channel for more content. And as always, guys, if you guys are interested in, you know, trading any of these penny stocks, link in the description. We have our M1 Finance link, our Robinhood link, and our Weibo link. Get your two free stocks when you sign up with Weibo right now. And also, guys, as always, I'm not a financial advisor, so before investing or any stocks in general, make sure you speak to your financial advisor and do your own due diligence before investing. Do not trade based off of somebody else's opinion. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.